Hello, my name is Steve Blake and I'm a landscape photographer and this morning uh, we are at Talking Tarn uh, on a lovely uh, calm still morning uh, where together we're going to look at an often used photographic technique called the rule of thirds. So how does it work? Well this is where as a landscape photographer you need to start to apply your imagination. Um, so I'll come a little bit closer to the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. So if you imagine in your mind's eye as you look through the camera's viewfinder um, and so I've used this glass plate here to replicate the viewfinder if you imagine a grid uh, across that scene that you're looking at uh, and I've created a grid here uh, by using two vertical lines uh, running from top to bottom and two horizontal lines running from left to right and you'll notice that that's divided um, the overall viewfinder into nine equal rectangles. And you'll also notice that where these vertical and horizontal lines meet, um, there's a, a kind of converging point. And the rule of thirds suggests that if you place your subject matter um, upon one of these four converging points, that's top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right, if you place your subject matter on one of those points, um, you'll have a more balanced uh, and even image that will be more appealing to the viewer. So let's pop over to my studio and have a look at how that works in practice. Now we've just popped over to my computer where I'd like to share with you three images just to show how that rule of thirds grid uh, applies uh, in terms of aiding your composition. Now apologies in advance if my head gets in the way slightly. Uh, I'll try to avoid that as much as I can. Um, but I'd just like to share with you three examples. Uh, the first one is a picture that you'll recognise, uh, taken at Talking Tarn. This is a winter scene of the Alex Boat House. Uh, and you'll see that by applying the rule of thirds grid, um, you'll see that the boat house sits neatly under this um, kind of bottom right hand intersecting corner. And by placing the boat house in that position of the photograph, you'll see how balanced the image looks. If, for example, uh, I've recomposed uh, the photograph and I had the boathouse at the top of the image, uh, it wouldn't have been as well balanced. It wouldn't have worked as well. Uh, so that's a good example of how the rule of third grid uh, has helped with composition in that case. Uh, let's look at a second example, also a talking tarn example. This is looking across the tarn towards the, the bird observatory just here uh, and behind that is the summit of Talking Fell. Uh, and again, by applying our rule of thirds grid, you can see that the Bird Observatory again sits nicely under that bottom right hand intersection of those grid lines. Now note it doesn't have to be an exact position. Um, it's kind of an approximation, and you'll gather from looking at the image that the observatory is in that approximate location. And again, it helps to compose and balance the photograph. Uh, and our third example, which I'll just bring up now, uh, was taken at the summit of Talking Fell. This is a sunrise photograph, and these are all man-made summit cairns that you can see aligned across the top ridge here. And again, by placing our rule of thirds grid uh, onto the screen, we can see that our foreground summit cairns are underneath approximately that bottom right intersection again. But note this time, the leading line of summit cairns stretches right the way across to this second intersecting point on the bottom left. Um, and that really does guide the eye through the photograph towards the rising sun in the background. And again, another good example of how applying the rule of thirds and using that rule of thirds grid uh, is a real great help uh, to the landscape photographer uh, in terms of aiding composition. Now that you've seen how that works in practice, I've got a little exercise for you to do now, either at home uh, or in class. Um, and you'll need to get a piece of stiff card uh, because I'd like you to make your own rule of thirds grid. Uh, so carefully measuring and carefully cutting out those nine equal rectangles. Uh, once you've done that, I'd like you to pop outside, either into the garden or the school field or somewhere beautiful like Talking Tarn. Um, and just experiment by holding the grid up to the landscape. 
and selecting a point of interest and placing it under one of these four intersecting points and just see how that changes the image that you're looking at overall um, and just move that grid around uh, and you'll see that the, um, the image changes quite dramatically as you do that. Experiment, take some photographs either using a camera uh, or a phone um, and uh, compare those images uh, at home once you uh, get the chance to see them. I hope you enjoyed doing that, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to see more of my video tutorials then pop along to my website at www.steveblakephotography.co.uk um, and um, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.